Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm so happy to have you either way. If you've noticed that I haven't been around for the past few months, I really do apologize for that. I feel terribly because there were so many people reaching out to me, asking me if I was okay, leaving uh, comments on my videos. And also I feel bad for all my nail sisters who videos I usually watch and comment on and stuff like that. Um, I feel really bad that I dropped off the face of the earth, but honestly, I've been going through a few months of hell. It's been one of those anything that can go wrong will go wrong type of situations. And it was just an absolute nightmare. But we seem to be out on the other side of it now. And hopefully things just start getting better from here. Um, one big change that's happened in my life that's more on the positive note is that I've started a new job, which is like the wildest thing for me. If you knew me on a personal level, you would know that my husband and I have our business together and we've had our business for a really long time and we always thought we were going to do it until we died, honestly. And... Um, I was not seeking out employment in any way, but I was contacted by a tech startup company and I can't talk much about it. Obviously, there's no launch yet. Anyways, it's whole disclosure, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, so I was contacted by this company and um, it's, it's just so weird the way that everything ended up lining up and it became a situation where it's like, okay, well, it just makes the most amount of sense for me to take this job, but now I'm back in like the corporate side of things and like doing the Monday to Friday and doing the nine to five and I haven't been in the corporate world for like 10 years now so it's like a whole big change a whole big adjustment and um, I'm really excited to be doing this new thing but it's like really scary because I had to step away from our business and my husband's running our business by by himself anyway it's not about me it's about the nails on this channel but I just thought I would let you guys know but um, on the nail side I truly did not touch I would say 99% of all of the um, shipments that I've gotten in so I have a lot of hauls to do um, and yeah so let's just get started <music> Um, so in this first package here, we have some nail charms. I was really excited to get these um, because I just think they're the coolest thing. If you knew me on a personal level, you would know I'm obsessed with anything that's like moons and stars and stuff like that. So I have these ones here. I'm not sure if I should take them out or if you could see them. I think maybe that's okay. So you have like the moon and star here and then the moons and then the moons and then star, star, stars. And I just, I love this type of stuff. If you've watched my videos before, you'll see that I, I really enjoy things exactly like this with like the kind of pearly thing and like the gold outline and stuff like that. And then we got this one here, which has a bunch of hearts, which would have been really cool for Valentine's Day. Honestly, I did so many nail sets for Valentine's Day, and I wish that I had like at least posted them on Instagram or something, but I never did. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm sorry about my voice if I sound a little strange. I am recovering from COVID, which is very in keeping with the anything that can go wrong will go wrong, but um, we're doing okay now. Just have this stupid residual cough and a little bit of nasally congestion, so I apologize for that. Um, so yeah, so we have the hearts here. Uh, we have these... Um, oval ones here and I just think they're so 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 pretty so I'm just diving into this like gigantic box here I have no idea what I'm grabbing honestly so it'll be a surprise for you and for me okay so in this one here let's just pour everything out and then we'll go through it oh shoot ah back to dropping stuff typical Jess okay so I should have done that a lot better. You see, I haven't done this in so long that I'm so disorganized. Okay, so these here, these are supposed to be nail pinchers. Like absolutely no way that I'm going to use these because ow, you know, ow. I'll probably just use it, I don't know, for decor or maybe just throw them out because they're a little janky. So anyways, that was that. And then we have these stickers here. I'm sorry that this video is so disorganized. I haven't done this in so long. Okay, so we have these stickers here. Uh, they have some peonies on them and they have some like nice like motivational quotes, some fruits and figs. So it's, you got this, as you wish, just love. Okay, and then we have these ones here. You know, me and all my like metaphysical stuff I really love. So we have like the evil eye here. We have the moons, the stars, stuff like that. We have some crystals, love that. Oh, and then another one of those. And then we have this one here, which is a little bit more on the naughty side. And then, okay, so it looks like there's more in here. Okay, so we have these ones here. These like French outlines are really cool. Ooh, these are cool. Love that. That'd be cool for pride. And then these ones here. I love these French outlines. 
Ooh, interesting. Oh, and then we have like the, like if you're doing an almond or a square, cool. So it looks like we have two of those. And then we have these really funky ones here. I'm guessing, yeah, these must be water slide decals. Okay, so let's open this one up. Okay, so we have these guys here, super cool. We have these, ah, I look, little magic mushroom here. Cool. Ooh, that's cool. This one and this one. And then this one here with all the eyes. Oh, I love this. That is so pretty. Cool. Okay. And then we have some foils. I was like all about the like lace look recently. So I wonder how much like lacy stuff I have here. But look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Okay. I'm not going to bother putting that back because I want to try to haul as much as I can in this video. And then we have another lace thing here. That's cool, a little bit more like you have like some like fishnet style with the like bigger flowers. And then we have this one here I thought was so cool because I saw this in sticker form with hearts and with um, stars. Like, look at that. How cool is that? But yeah, in sticker form, I was like, man, like cutting all the slits into it. How's that going to look? So like in foil form, oh my gosh, love that. Okay, so moving on to the next package. Looks like we have a bunch of cool stuff in here. So I have these like colored oil slick kind of like um, almost neon type ones. I didn't realize that these were solid on the back. So that's gonna be really interesting. But yeah, so we have a purple, we have a teal, and it looks like all but one are like that solid color on the back. So purple, teal, this hot pink, like this is so cool. I would love this in like a French. Maybe I'll do that soon. Okay, and then we have the clear ones. This, I have like a million of these, but that's okay, it's still pretty. Like it just looks so cool on any look. I don't know, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it, right? And then green, I'm all about that green life. I don't know if you've noticed recently, but green has been my favorite color since I was like a kid. But like, I just feel like everybody's talking about green right now. Everybody's wearing green right now. There's so much green in like home decor. So I'm loving that because now I can wear green and not look weird. Whereas before everybody's like, ew, green is like my least favorite color. And now I'm hearing that a lot less, so. And then we have these ones here, which are like a fabric type thing. So they're not um, foils at all. They're just like this like iridescent fabric, which would be perfect for like mermaid nails. So we have the purple, we have the pink. These I would encapsulate in acrylic, honestly. Like I think they're a little bit too thick for gel. And then we have this beautiful light blue. Oh my gosh. And then this white, which is like iridescent. So it looks kind of pinky, kind of purple and then yellow but like very neon yellow very like highlighter yellow and then this like kind of black kind of purple kind of green like this this is super cool okay so what else do we have in here oh so we have some more stickers so we have this like moroccan design let's open this up okay so those are so pretty i love this like little moroccan style and then what else do we have in here? Oh, oh yeah, okay, now, so, okay, so now I remember what this is. Um, so I had bought, if you watch my most recent video from like three and a half months ago, um, I got a, um, I got a mold from a Daily Charm box and I just thought that it was so cool. Um, so I got this one here, which would be good for like sweater nails, which obviously like we're way past that or like way early for that, but looks like I got a few of the molds. Oh my gosh, look, there's a little penguin here. So let's see, what is this one here? I'm really interested to like play around with these. I never played with the one that I got from Daily Charm, but I'd like to. So we have this one here with these butterflies. Like I love that there's so many different sizes on here. You have this little half one, this like moth one, like, oh, just so cool. And I love that it comes in this little case because it's like a silicone, right? And then, oh, this one here snowflakes i love me a good snowflake nail like obviously if you know i live in canada so we have snow for like ever and honestly this year we had snow in april which like never happens in toronto but it was like so freaking cold for so freaking long here and i'm just like dying to get on a plane and get the hell out of here but that's not gonna happen anytime soon but i'm okay with that i've made peace okay so then we have this one here this one i was after for so long so pretty so it's got like the inside of a shell like i love that so much like on a gray nail on a neutral nail on a pink nail like oh i love this 
Okay, so moving on to the next package. Uh, okay. So this I know I got off of eBay. This is something that I saw, I think it was Sarah's Nail Secrets um, post about, and um, it's a peel off base coat. And I think this, let me get, get something to open this. Um, but I believe it was her um, that posted about this peel off base coat. And if you watch me, you know that my nails like love like gel polish. So I really struggle with like all peel off base coats. Um, I just find that everything I've ever tried just doesn't work. Like I've done the whole like six layers of top coat and like cuticle oil all over the place and it just hasn't worked for me. And then I end up still having to pry my nails off and get like damage. But um, so it's my understanding that this is like the peel off base coat. And then um, I got to watch her video or like maybe their video or something. This is Jello Jello, one kill. Um, but anyways, it's my understanding that this is the peel off base coat. And then when you're ready to take it off, you do like a little file down. And then this uh, thing here helps you to remove it. And it, like it seems just like cuticle oil to me. Anyways, I'm going to have to test it out and like let you know. Um, but I know that I did end up getting this off of eBay. Um, so if I can find the link to it, I will link to it. Um, the rest of this stuff here, like there's no way I'm going to be able to find links. It was so long ago and this stuff is so unorganized, but anyways, I'm interested to try that out, um, for the next time that I do like an interesting look. So that was that. I mean like an interesting look I don't want to keep. I'm telling you like in this box here, there's like empty bags and there's like empty containers and stuff like that because it's been hanging out in my nail room for so long. Um, so I apologize how disorganized this is. Um, okay, okay, so it looks like we have more, um, uh, I'm forgetting the words now. Uh, what are they called? Molds, we have silicone molds. Okay, so this one here, this is some feathers. I'm really going to have to, I shouldn't have bought so many of these before like figuring out how they work because they're like, they're pretty shallow, right? So like, I've seen people use this with acrylic, but I don't know. I got to test it out and then I'll let you guys know. And then we have this one here, which is a Pegasus and like a regular horse, which is cool. Love that. And then this one here, I saw this and this is cool because this one's actually really deep. And I thought this was cool because so many people, and maybe I'm kind of missing the trend now, but so many people were getting these like sweet things. See how it says sweet and then it's like the like candy charms. And I was like, man, I would love to be able to make those myself with like glitter acrylic or like something like that. So I got that and then let's move along and see what's in here. Hi. Okay, so it looks like we have another one of these flakes. These things here, like, I am so obsessed with them. If I can find the picture, I'll post it of, like, some, like, amethyst nails that I did using, um, like, this, but, like, in purple. And, like, I just love the look because, like, the way that it shines, like, look at that. It's not reflective, but it might as well be, man. Like, it's so pretty. And then we have stickers. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go through these like clear stickers. So we have these ones here, which were definitely not made for my nails. I have very wide nails. So like, yeah, this would not fit like even on my index, like the pure pinky, but whatever, that's okay. So we have two of those and then we have, oh, looks like we're missing a couple stickers here. We have this one here with like the rose gold and we have some cacti, we have some leaves, whole bunch of cool stuff going on in there. And then we have this B one with like the regular gold. Love that. So it looks like we have two of those. And then a whole bunch with like leaves and like stuff like that. And like this one here with the sneaky little moon. Uh, so it looks like two, three, four, four of those, I guess. Okay. And then we have this one here. Very cool. If you do want any of the links to this, like if you watch my videos, you know I'm usually really good about putting all the links to everything down below, but this one I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I didn't get the chance to organize all of this stuff in the way that I wanted to. Um, so if there's anything that you really like that you would like the link to, I will look it up for you. Okay, and then we have four of these ones here. That's cool. It says Power of Positivity, Be Yourself, and we have a whole bunch of beautiful flowers what's not to love this one whoa my god why do i have so many of these i'm pretty sure i have these already in my collection so okay i guess we'll put some of these for a giveaway oh 
yeah, now I just realized. Um, in my last video, I was talking about doing a giveaway, and I do still plan on doing that, but I need a little bit more time to organize. So probably in the next few videos, I will do a giveaway, and I do still have those Swarovski crystals set aside for that purpose. So um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and then um, you'll be notified, or turn on your notifications, and then you'll be notified when I upload about the um, giveaway, whenever I do it. Okay, um, so let's see, what do we have here? Okay, so it looks like we have a little wheel of like designer stuff. Oh, sorry if that's loud. Okay, so we have, this is just all Chanel. Let me just get my tweezers and then we'll get this guy here to show you guys. Okay, so we have this circle Chanel here. How cool with like the rhinestones. And then we have this one here with the rhinestones in the middle. And then we have, oh, they're nice and curved too. So we have, oh, this one. And then we have this one, which is all bling. And then this one here, which is bling and it says Chanel. And then this one here, bling and the bling in the middle. So that's pretty. And then what else do we have in here? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so it looks like we have a bit more charms. So we have these giant snakes, which I saw so many people hauling from um, um, Shein, which like, oh my gosh, and I never made my nail sticky, dang it. Okay, so we have this long one here. This is like gold. If I remember correctly, I think I got a bunch of these in like different different styles. So let's, let's see. Oh yeah. So we have this one here with the pearls. So they're all the same size. I won't show you them all on the nail. So we have this one here with the pearls. How pretty is that? I know pearls are having such a moment in the nail world, nail world right now, which is cool. Looks like we got a little rainbow striping tape. And then we have this green one because as I said, I love, love, love the color green. So we have that and then, wow, this, I love this. Anything rainbow, I'm so obsessed with. Like, look at that. Okay, it's not like a true rainbow or a full rainbow, but like that is so pretty. The blues and the pinks and the fuchsias. Wow, I love that so much. So it looks like that's it for the snakes. And then we have these ones here. I feel like I hauled this recently. Not hauled recently, because obviously I haven't hauled in a long time, but um, I feel like I got these from Shein in some way, shape, or form. I'm gonna have to take a look. So we have the black one, and then do we have, no, I didn't get white ones. And then we have these bows here with the bling on them. Okay, so this is nice and curved too, which is cool. So love that. Cute little size for the nail. Like even my nails are pretty short right now and that that's pretty cool. And then it looks like we have them also in the pearl. So this one here. That's so cute, I love that. Okay, and then we have some different bows here. Wow, look at that. That is such a statement piece. Like, I don't even know how you would do that. You'd have to have a lot of acrylic or gel going around it because it's gonna stick out. Maybe you could do it as like a dangle charm. Maybe, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, so let's move on to the next package, but first I'm gonna clean all this up. Okay, so let's move on to this package here. Okay, so it looks like we have more charms. So we have these ones here with the um, chain and then like, um, like rhinestone. Man, I'm just so tripping up on my words today. So we have that one there, that is so cool. And then we have this little angel fairy type thing going on. This is like a dangle charm. So that is the angel charm. And then next we have these like ovals here with pearls. Hopefully I'm like right on trend with this like pearl thing because it seems like I have so much pearl stuff. So hopefully it's what's starting to trend right now. So we have this oval too, which I think is so cool. Like look at that on the nail, fill it with some gel or like some pixies or something. I love that, that is so pretty. And then moving right along, we have this one here with these like four points. 
This one is silver, which I almost never get silver. They must have either not had these in gold or it's the wrong thing. But either way, it's so pretty. Like, look at that. And like, look at that shine. I don't know how closely you can see it. Like, I can't really see my viewfinder from here. So like, is it like, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And then like on the nail, you have a little pearl in the middle. Another one of those things, like it's not curved to the nail. So you're going to have to work with it. And then next we have another one, very similar, but different and in gold. This one, is this one curved? Yeah, no, this one, mm, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Maybe you could bend it. I don't know. Yeah, this one, this, this one's going to be a tough sell. But it's pretty, so we'll make it work. And then next we have these, what are these, like angel wings? Or just wings in general. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is so pretty. Wow, I love that. Okay, it sticks up quite a bit, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Wow, that is pretty. Okay, now then, lastly for this package, looks like we have... A hamsa with a, a crystal in the middle. So that is that. This one is curved. So this, oh yeah, that just slides like right on the nail. So that's good. You have like the little bit coming up like this that you're going to have to deal with. But not the end of the world. The things we do for love, right? Okay, let me clean this up and then we'll move on to the next package. Okay, so moving on to this next package, it looks like this is all we have in here. So, oh shoot, that was not a good move. But we have these little heart dangle charms, which would have been so perfect for Valentine's Day had I opened them before then. Like, look at that in relation to the nail. Like, it's so cute and it's so dainty. Obviously, you're not going to put it on. Um, I guess you could if you want to clip off the little hoop there but yeah to have this dangling like it's so cute it's so subtle so that is that okay and then oh yeah okay so we have these um nail brushes here and i remember exactly why i got these somebody hauled them i can't remember who if you were the one that hauled them let me know recently by recently, I mean like four months ago. <laughs> but um, these are the liner brushes with the um, little metal piece here. I find these to be so much longer lasting. And this one, I don't know if this was the 11, maybe 7 millimeter. But this is the name of the brand. I really like this brand for brushes. They're really good. Um, but yeah, this like metal piece here, I really super love. I feel like it helps to stabilize the brush. Like... And then like therefore makes it last longer and then i don't know if it like prevents it from bending yeah so maybe that the other one was 11 this one's like seven i don't know i'm just making up numbers now but um yeah basically i had a longer one and a shorter one but i love that and i just think that they're so pretty and then this other one this rose gold one i'm almost positive it's a gem picker because i'm like addicted to them some people like they're addicted to like certain brushes whatever i'm addicted to these gem pickers yeah 100 percent so I have a million and one of these, but I just keep buying them because I don't know why. I just, I love, I love having many gem pickers on hand. And then at the end of the day, what I end up using is the like $1 wax pencil. I'll show you. This guy here is like down to his freaking nub, but I just end up using this one most of the time, even though I have a whole bunch of pretty ones like this with like the positioning tool. I just, I like to make my life difficult, you know? So um, yeah, so we have that one there. So love these, so happy that I finally hauled these and took them out so I can start using them. And then let's move on to the next. Uh, okay. So I guess this is, Oh, I remember this. Yeah, so I had to open this up because I needed uh, swatch sticks because um, somebody was using my swatch sticks to play. And um, yeah, so I had to open up a new bag and then like hide the rest of the bags so that we could stop playing with all the gel polish. Okay, 
so we have obviously as you can see a ridiculous amount of swatch sticks i go through these like water anyway so we have just the regular stiletto like these are a little bit on the shorter side which drives me bananas but that's okay so we have two three four five six of them and then I have these handy dandy tweezers here, which I love. And then I got two of them in black. And I like to include these in my giveaways also, because honestly, first of all, who doesn't like these? Who doesn't need these? Who doesn't want these? So anytime I can find them and they're like a good price, I try to pick them up and then like I'll pass them along to my nail friends or include them in giveaways. So it's this one here. So I'm sure you've seen this a million times before. You have the silicone tool, which is like really great for like rubbing in chromes or like pressing down decals or stuff like that. And then you have these like really pointy uh, tweezers, which are great for a million and one things. And then you have the cover. Um, so these I bought intentionally for a giveaway or like handing them over to my nail friends. And then we have some... Um, fine glitter um if you watch my videos like four months ago i was saying that i was um on the hunt for the like perfect emerald glitter which i did find anyway but um yeah so we have this one here it's like a nice like dark green i'm gonna make a mess but listen this is life so like look at that oh my gosh like i know it's not christmas and this is like a very like christmasy or maybe like mermaidy maybe because it's like it's like chameleon right it's like green and blue and yeah, so maybe maybe that was a purpose for that. And I don't know if I got two of them intentionally. Like, this one is not numbered. Is it the same? You know what? Let's just open it up. Let's live dangerously. We'll open it up and we'll just see for ourselves. Like, I feel like, oh, okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. So this one is, like, fine. And this one must be, like, the super fine. I love me a fine and super fine glitter because you can use them for, like, anything. Like, wow. Okay, maybe this is exactly the same. I don't know, but this thing just like burped on me. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I don't know. Can you see it? Can you see that? Can you see that green and blue? Like, oh, it's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. And then we have blue. Like, I could have ordered this around Christmas time, honestly. Like, that's how old some of these packages are. Um, because I always love a like a light blue or like medium blue glitter in this case for like sugaring and like um snowflake nails and stuff like that so this one looks like it's just straight blue like i don't think that it's chameleon i feel like these are exactly the same i have no idea what i was doing anyway so oh yeah it is a little bit chameleon because you see there's like a blue and like a teal <gasps> i love that okay so oh no 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 okay that's just a disaster waiting to happen honestly all of this fine glitter is a disaster waiting to happen and then let's take a look at this one. We'll just see. Is it different? Is it not? I don't know. See, this one has a five and this one has a six. So, like, it makes you think that maybe they're different. I don't know. We'll see together. Ooh, so pretty. I'm going to have to look at the footage to see if it's actually different. I think, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's different. I don't know. But look, look at this. It's okay. It's okay. So then we have a whole bunch of bubble wrap. I don't know where that's from and then ooh, okay so mm, okay so i'm hoping that when i received this there was a drill bit in here e hopefully um and then we have this one here so this would be really good for like the cuticle it seems like it's a diamond bit so not coarse and also it's red for fine so we'll have to try that out and see how that works and then we have an empty bag and then another empty bag and um all right i'm honestly like i really apologize that this is so disorganized i promise you like to continue doing videos i'm gonna i'm gonna be more organized and then oh my gosh some mold moving around oh this here this is a silicone mat i don't know if i have other ones um back there but the silicone mat here honestly like it saved the day um quite a few times when i almost cured uh well to be fair it wasn't me um but someone someone found my um flashlight and started curing all of the gel polish that they had out in my nail room we were having a good time don't get me wrong um but um <laughs> so she was curing gel polish um like a maniac all over the place and thank god all of the gel polish was on this like silicone mat so i was able to just like pick it off and it didn't get like all over my desk which at the end of the day it's not the end of the world i wouldn't have let them into my nail room and all of that if i was like really worried about this desk like this is not a pristine desk but anyway i digress so um 
I didn't get the gel polish cure to the desk, which was nice, and I was able to pick this off. But also when I'm doing acrylic, which is my preferred base, um, I can put um, just paper towel on this and it doesn't really go through, which is really cool. Oh shoot, I'm getting a phone call. Who the hell calls me these days? Okay, so moving on to the next package. <gasps> oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so these things here, these are not nail charms. They have these this thing on AliExpress. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's like a locket. And basically you open it up and you put these things and they like kind of float within it. And they have all these things to um, cater to like all these different like... Um, interest and stuff like that um so we have these ones here these are like i'm pretty sure there's no hole in this yeah no there's no hole um and it's not curved either but they're so small so see no hole they only stick up a little bit so like if you have it like at the base or at the top like you'll be good with these um so anyway so they go into these like little like locket type things and they have them for like keychains and for earrings and for necklaces and stuff like that um and they had like a whole bunch of different ones so i was like let me just get a few and then we'll see if we like like the quality Quality. so we have these ones here these like cherry blossom ones and then these ones here these are a little meh so these ones are like little angels these ones mm, they're kind of boring to me I'm not sure if I would really use those for like a nail and then <clears throat> we have these dragonflies here these are all copper those are cute I would use those like nice size for the nail like if you see the size of my nail compared to them so that's cool and then oh shoot oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm such a mess okay moving right along and then we have these ones here like those are so cool and the size is so perfect for a nail not curved but it's okay we could we can make this stuff work and then this one here if you knew me in real life, this would make a whole lot of sense. A little sold sign. And that's it. Okay, so let's move on to the next package. Okay, so I just realized that I took this box out of one of these packages here and never opened it. Um, but what I have here, I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's what it is, is a diamond which I thought, look at that. Look, like, perfect for a nail prop. This is pointy, though. Like, that is pointy AF. Um, but, yeah, so perfect for a nail prop. And then also, if you saw at some point in, like, some sheet-in video, I bought... Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry for the shake if there's a shake. I bought this crystal ball off of Shein, right? And so I thought that the stand for this would be perfect for the... Oh, it is! So... If I remember correctly, there was none of these type of stands like from this seller um, for the um, diamond. But anyways, I have this one here, which is really cool. So I think it's, is it bomb nails? I think that whenever she's doing her nails, she does it on top of this um, like beautiful diamond. And so I just thought that would be really cool for videos, but also for a nail prop. And also like, this is so pretty. It's good for everything. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it now because I only have one of these stands and this is circular. So it has to be on top of something. Anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so let's move on. Okay. So then here, this, like this mat here was in this package also, but I took it out. So we have a beige and a yellow of the silicone mats. And I'm telling you, these are such a lifesaver. I think these are like eight inches wide I believe I knew I wanted something that was more than 12 I believe it's 18 by 12 I have like a much bigger one that I got off of Amazon but I wanted smaller ones too for I don't know whatever reason um, but they're such a lifesaver when I'm doing acrylic and then also for other reasons so that was that and let's do one more package before we shut this down let's hope this is an interesting one mm. One that I didn't actually open when I got it. So I have no idea what this is. And how am I going to open it? Honestly, I'm so accident prone. This is a bad idea. Ah, I did it. I did it. Okay. So. Oh, we have a little like lucky bracelet in here, which is very nice. It says love. Cool. 
um, what the heck is this? Oh, Kawhi Charms. Okay, so let's open all of these up. Why am I, I'm having such a brain fart right now. Okay, so we have these ones here. These are obviously for Minnie Mouse, which these are like gigantic, but low key, I love it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. They're so soft. It's like a soft touch. Okay, so this is going to stick out like 100%. This would be really good for like a junk nail. And like, I would love to do like really like super long, like Disney themed nails with like a peel off base coat. And I would totally do this. So we have this one. I feel like I wasn't expecting this to be this big. Like, let's be honest. And then looks like we have a whole bunch of other ones here. So let's check these ones out. Okay, so we have a little honey, like, uh, for, like, Winnie the Pooh. We have a little cheese for, I guess, reasons. We have a strawberry, which love. And then we have a little mouse hand here for, like, Mickey Mouse. And then we have a carrot. And then, oh, that's so cute. We have a little bum for a Pikachu. And we have a little mushroom for Super Mario. I love that. And then we have a little donut, which is great. And then what else do we have? A little acorn. And then I don't know what this is. If somebody could let me know. It's like a little bell. I don't know if it has, I don't know, some meaning for something. And I think that's it. So it looks like we got like just doubles, I guess, of everything. So that is cool. And now I want to open up another one. I want to open up another one. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, one singular stamping plate. Okay, so let's open this one up. Okay, oh yeah, so this is all like casino style. So we have like all the numbers here. We have the different suits here. We have like a little queen, a little king. We have a 777. We have a little like jester here. We have these like little playboy bunnies. Like I love this winner, winner, chicken dinner. So that is so cool. So that is everything. Thank you so, so, so much for doing this haul with me. Thank you for coming back after a few months if you have. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And please, please, please leave me a comment, thumbs me up, subscribe, something so that I could get back on the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. And until next time, and as always, have an amazing day. Bye.